So first of all, nice to meet you. And uh, well, what I'm doing. So I'm a lecturer at uh, different universities, um, right here in Cologne. So all together with the subject of management. So for sure in the field of management in economics and also in sports. So sports is my hard affair. Um, special for sure handball. So handball starts with in the age of four. And so uh, I made my first experience uh, very, very early. Um, then, so over the last 30 years, I started in adult handball, let me put it that way. Uh, as a junior, I also was allowed to play at the adults, so a man handballer already. Um, so it was in my, my very, it was in my uh, home, so it was no problem for me. Uh, it was a nice experience. So this was nothing without uh, professional handball or something like that. But then I had my, my first match against THB Kiel as a fifth league um, uh, club. So uh, that was really emotional as a young player, as a young goalkeeper. So goalkeeping is, is my profession. And um, later on, I uh, decided to study sports economics at the German Sports University at the Institute for Sports Economics and Sports Management at the German Sports University. So at the end of the day, that uh, took me about eight years, just my study, but I started during my, uh, uh, during my study working for the Institute. Um, and then I started being responsibility for the uh, team of the German Sports University, for the University uh, German Championships and so on. Uh, we won that in my responsibility two times, German champion, 2006, 2009, and uh, the year after, so means the first time, 2007, we are, uh, the responsibility is and the ambassadors for Germany to, for the European uh, Championships for Universities. So in 2008, it was his first time in Lodz, in Poland, uh, 2008 in Ljubljana, 2009 in Nice, or other way around, and 2010 in uh, Cyprus, Nicosia. So in this uh, European uh, experiences, it's uh, really, really kind of a story. This was my personal clue. And then uh, this year, the World Championships in uh, Germany and Denmark on the other side. We had that incredible match, Germany against Croatia, on that Monday right here in Cologne, where we could make it in the uh, final round, uh, early final round. And that was also a sold out Lanxus Arena right here in Cologne. And uh, I got goosebumps all over, my, inclusive inside my hand. 60 minutes. During 60 minutes, was really incredible. Uh, that was, uh, well, kind of uh, advertisement for this kind of sport. So, and I started to work for the EHF uh, eight years before. So this year was a club, seminar, club management seminar in the eighth edition, next year in the ninth edition. And uh, really a success story. Uh, as you might know, so 20 uh, participants every year. So over the years, meanwhile, 160 participants. And this was the uh, start for the European handball manager at the uh, German Sports University with Stefan Weizel and so on. This was, it was the start of that program. Another success story. So this is about it, what I, I'm responsible for. So for sure, I mean, the networking on European level is really important. Um, I mean, handball got so many skills in sports uh, for, the, for the kids. Uh, learning how to win, learning how to lose. Uh, so a lot of skills also um, for the economic part. If you are good in handball, team sports, uh, for example, handball, it's also good for your further life in, in, uh, on your job, let me put it that way. Uh, a lot of skills like communication skills, uh, teamwork, uh, so on. And well, at the end of the day, uh, as far as I know, there were several uh, next tournaments of EHF level in Portugal as well, in youth level also. So uh, make it professional, make it from your heart, and make it not for you, make it for the spectators and, and the sportmen. Do that. 
and that will be a real success story. Because they are 